Hey, you sexy bitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we just got finished, you know, stuffing our faces with turkey, uh, pie, yams, macaroni and cheese, stuffing, cranberry sauce, and all that, you know, great, good, tasty food. But before we can go back for seconds or even pack away some leftovers, we are just getting flooded with all this holiday-themed entertainment. And Almost Christmas is the first holiday-themed movie in 2016 to hit the big screen. You know, it's the latest Christmas film with the entire dysfunctional family getting together for Christmas. And I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes. This type of film has been done over and over and over and over again so many times. You know, the whole dysfunctional family ripping at each other's throats, using profanity at each other. And at the end of the movie, they're all smiling, drinking eggnog, singing kumbaya, and looking at a Christmas tree. But on the other hand, um, this film truly does have an all-star cast. The director has improved from his last film. It's entertaining, and this film was a nice way to honestly start off the season. I mean, let's look at the cast. We have Danny Glover, uh, J.B. Smoove, Jesse T. Usher, Monique, Omar Epps, Gladys Knight, uh, Nicole Airy Parker, and just, oh, Gabrielle Union, Kimberly Elise. Just so many good actors and actresses in this movie. So the first thing I would like to talk about is the cast, obviously. And really, oh my god, this is a good cast. And it's a cast that makes this movie so much better than what it actually should be. I know I mentioned how um, this film's plot is something a majority of people have seen, especially in the Christmas genre. But the cast really, how can I put this, lights up things this holiday season? Th that pun wasn't intended. <laughs> but uh, the real standout cast members are J.B. Smoove, you may know him from the movie Hall Past and The Sitter. And Monique, uh, she was in the movie Fat Girls and Precious. And Monique is hilarious. You know, she's the wig-wearing, ready-to-fight, drunk, name-dropping Aunt May who has performed for Mick Jagger and Chaka Khan and enjoys, you know, trying to give words of wisdom to her nieces and nephews. But I never thought I would say this, but Danny Glover has literally been outperformed by everyone, especially Monique. Really, the cast is like, is the redeeming quality in this film. And one thing I have to get off my chest is the, the character Jasmine, played by Carrie Hil Hil uh, what's her name? Carrie Hilson. Good lord, that lady is fine. Also, um, the film is a comedy drama. The movie does have some decent laughs, but nothing really very new. Like, the best comedy bits really do come from Monique and J.B. Smoove, and it's usually through their dialogue. The director did improve from his last film, so I feel like he is getting more efficient with filmmaking and storytelling. But where this film falls flat is the script. The script is very generic, and it's been, been there, done that type of story, even for a holiday-themed movie. And even though this movie is a comedy drama, I would consider this more of a comedy than a drama, because the drama is a little bland, in my opinion. It's um, very... How can I put this? Like, Danny's Glover, this is not really a spoiler, but Danny Glover's son, his youngest son, Evan, is addicted to painkillers in the movie. And I feel like that's something that could have been more dramatic and explored. Like, um, how can I put this? Maybe um, he gets more violent, or um, he becomes really, really addicted, and it changes his emotions. Uh, maybe he passes out. Uh, maybe the son could have overdosed, become more violent towards his family members, clutch his chest while singing Deck the Halls, and the next thing you know, he's falling ass backwards into the tree and suddenly stop breathing. You know, anything, really. I just feel like the characters, were, when it came to the drama, were really underwritten. So these are my final Bitch and Buddha thoughts on the film Almost Christmas. The film's plot is a little weak, but it's the cast that really keeps it strong. We get all of our usual Christmas movie moments, you know, putting the giant Santa Claus statue on the roof, that doesn't really go according to plan. Kids giving words of wisdom to adults. And a character putting his family first and work second. Joyful dancing in the living room. And the big surprise at Christmas dinner. And I hope I didn't spoil the movie or any, for anyone who's interested. But 
none of these elements are really new in a Christmas movie. They've all done it before. It's a good It's a good movie for the holiday spirit. And personally, I had a good time, and I think most of you will have a good time. And if I had to give this movie, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching, and remember, don't just get down, but get boogie. Have a good day. Bye.